Hey y'all, it's Rosie from iHeartRecipes.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the very best cabbage and collard greens. Y'all heard me right, we are gonna mix these together in a pot and it's going to be absolutely fabulous, okay? So let's get started off with the greens. I'm gonna cheat a bit. I'm going to buy the kind in a bag that say you don't need to clean them, but we're still going to clean them, okay? And after we pour some of those greens in the bowl, we're also going to slice up some cabbage and make sure you clean your cabbage as well, okay? We don't want no dirty veggies, okay? So clean your veggies very well. So here, as you see, I have my red bell pepper. I'm going to slice it up until, well, until I want it. You can slice it up a lot smaller if you want, but this size works for me. So once I'm done chopping up the bell pepper, I'm just going to slide that to the back and then I'm going to start dicing or slicing up an onion. Now I'm using a yellow onion, although it looks white on camera, but you can use a white or red onion if you choose, okay? So once we're done slicing those two, we're going to grab some fatty bacon. Now you can use pork or turkey. If you're going to use turkey bacon, you know, it's not gonna have a lot of fat on it, so just add a couple of tablespoons, maybe two tablespoons of vegetable oil while frying. And now we're going to start frying our bacon, okay? I guess I was ahead of myself. So we're going to start frying the bacon over medium high heat. And you're just going to fry it until it gets nice and golden. And yeah, over medium high heat later on, we will reduce it to medium, but as of now, it's medium high heat. So just keep cooking the bacon until we get it how we want it, and I'll show you how we want it. And that, that's good enough for me. So I'm going to start adding in my bell peppers and my onions, and I'm just going to fry them with the bacon. And again, all my non-pork eaters, if you want to use turkey bacon, you can. So now we're just going to mix those together just like so. Continue to fry until the onions and the peppers are nice and translucent. And now we can start adding in the cabbage and the collard greens. Now if you are watching this on Facebook, be sure to share this video with your friends, okay? I would really appreciate it. And also follow me on YouTube and Facebook. I am there as well. And don't forget, my blog, iHeartRecipes.com, you can print out my recipes there for free. So now we're going to reduce the heat to medium. And we're also going to add in some garlic. Now if you're not a fan of garlic, leave it on out. But y'all know I love me some garlic, so of course I'm going to use it. Now other than the garlic, y'all, I ran out of chicken broth. I usually use chicken broth, but I didn't have any on hand, so I used water. So pour that in now. And now we're going to start seasoning, okay? So the seasonings that I'm going to use are quite basic. I have some seasoning salt. And yes, I'm going to season until the ancestors tell me to stop. I guess right there was good. And now I'm going to add in some red pepper flakes. Now, if you're not a fan of any type of spice, feel free to leave the red pepper flakes out. And now we can start adding in our black pepper. I'm using coarse black pepper, but if you want to use ground, you can. And just a reminder, y'all, because a lot of you ask me, if you want the exact recipe for this or any of my other ones, head over to my blog, iHeartRecipes.com, and you can print it out from there. So the cabbage and the collards are going to cook for 45 minutes from this point on, covered, okay, over medium heat. And after the 45 minutes, this is what it looks like, y'all. Super tender, bomb. Your house is going to be smelling so amazing. And at this point, really, all you need Get some cornbread. So that's it, y'all. I want to thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share this video. Follow me on Facebook, YouTube, and head over to my blog, iHeartRecipes.com.